Hey, are you the one among who is always angry, feels excess of body heat, hot flashes, sweat, palpitations, agitations, always disturbance in the mind, restlessness, fatigue? There is an antidote for these all things, which is called as cooling pranayama. Yes, today I'm going to discuss each and every bit of cooling pranayama. Let's get started. Cooling pranayama, as name itself says, it cools and relaxes the body and mind as well. Simultaneously, it also increases the pranic capacity and conscious awareness. There are basically three techniques in cooling pranayama. One is called Sheetali, Shitkari, and Kaki pranayama. It's also called as Kaki mudra. Sheet literally means cold. Sheetali means calm. And Kaki means crow. Khaki is so called because the lips are formed in the shape of crow's beak. Those who cannot practice Sheetali and Sheetkari can adopt this practice, which is also called as Khaki Mudra. The posture which you already know, sit in any comfortable posture, either Sukhasana, Siddhasana, Ardha Padmasana, Vajrasana or Padmasana. Okay, in technique one, what you need to do, first take your tongue all the way out, curve the sides of the tongues, make the tongue in tube shape and suck the air from the same tube as deeply as possible. After that, exhale slowly through your both the nostrils. In variation two, you do the same process while inhaling, you curl the tongue, Make the tube shape, suck the air in, but here you are going to hold the breath inside. Maybe you can just simply hold the breath or you can use the bandhas which is called as Jalandhara Bandha. You drop the chin down, hold the breath for maximum 2-3 to three seconds and lift the chin up, exhale through the both the nostrils. Remember don't hold the breath more than 2-3 to three seconds because holding the breath for longer duration generates the heat inside the body as this is called as cooling pranayama we are not going to hold more than two to three seconds almost one third of the people are not able to curl their tongues from the side so this practice is for them who are not able to curl their tongue so here you need to wide open your lips cleanse the teeth completely suck the air between the teeth or between the gums and then close your mouth exhale very slowly through your both the nostrils in the variation two you do the same practice along with holding the breath inside you can adopt Jalandhara Bandha and also Moola Bandha and make sure do not hold the breath more than two to three seconds which is very important And when it comes to the Kaki Mudra or Kaki Pranayama, you need to make your lips in a such a way it looks like a beak of the crow. Or maybe when we do, when we whistle. Yes, that's how it has to be. But here you're going to inhale the breath and then exhale very slowly through your nostrils. In the variation two, we inhale deeply and then we hold the breath inside either you can just simply hold the breath or you can adopt Jalandhara Bandha and also root lock Moola Bandha one more important thing in Kaki Pranayama is here you have to adopt Nasikagra Drishti which means you need to open your eyes slightly and look at the tip of the nose continuously throughout the practice
This kaki pranayama is said to make one as healthy as a crow which never falls ill. And the sound of Sheetali and Sheetkari is the imitation of the serpent. As per Hatha Yoga Pradipika, the person who practices these regularly will not be affected by the bites of serpent and scorpions. Interesting, isn't it? That's all about cooling pranayama. I have tried to cover each and every point about cooling pranayama. Now it's time for you to put those things into action and let me know how it goes for you. Please feel free to comment, let me know, share, like and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Namaste and stay blessed.